Hey guys, Jason with CG Customs. When we stopped on Super Service, the 46 International, we were waiting on some steel for our firewall. The, the firewall came back three inches. We needed four inches for the new engine. So what we did was we cut out the old doghouse that was part of the firewall, and we made a template. I got the template here. It's nothing fancy. We just took a piece of cardboard, and we cut it to size. And then we measured where we were going to break our steel. Like I said, it went in three inches, so we had to add seven inches at each break. And then we're going to set that boxed in piece of steel right here. We'll tag it, and then we'll set it on the frame. I, uh, I took this template over to Justin at 5J Customs. You guys can check him out on uh, YouTube as well. This is what he gave me back. We actually, he, he cut it and then uh, we broke it together. Breaking it just means putting the bends in the steel. So this is our piece of steel here and it should fit right where we want now. I'm not gonna leave any surprises. I've already made sure it fit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look stupid. It fits. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it clamped up because it takes a couple of hands and we'll show you guys what it looks like before we weld it. All right, so we got our firewall put in, our new plate. <clears throat> And you can see the different curves in the cab itself. But like I told you earlier, Justin at 5J Customs has a plasma table, so you take him a template like that and he cuts it out to fit. And that's how we were able to make it work like this. So now we're gonna just put a couple of tacks and then we'll set it on the cab and make sure everything's right before we finish off the top. Because right now we've got a hole right here from the indention. And what we're probably gonna do is cut it but we need to see where the engine sets in the bay before we cut it and cap it off. So we'll get it on the frame and see you guys there. All right, so we got the cap back on, our 46 here. And now with, with it setting over the engine, you can see why we offset the doghouse. The doghouse is more towards the passenger side than it is the driver for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is where your intake and exhaust manifold is at on this truck now. And our slave cylinders right here on this side too, because now we've got a hydraulic clutch instead of the mechanical. Now the reason we offset it so much is we wanted to leave the driver as much foot room as we could because the pedals go through the floor. So your feet are actually gonna be right here. So having this wire close to this Firewall, it's 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 not a big deal. This this is fine, but that's why we offset our our new firewall. So now we're gonna put the steering column on. We're gonna do the VIN verification. That's a bunch of California crap. If you're not in California, don't worry about it. And I'm sure if you have to do VIN verifications outside of California, it's probably a lot easier. But in California, to get a VIN verified, the vehicle has to be intact. Which is kind of crazy because if you buy a project, you have to put it together before they'll verify it. And then if there's something wrong with the VIN, you're stuck with everything you put into it. So that, that's another rant for another day. But right now, I've got an appointment in a week. So we're just going to go ahead and put the front clip on too. Everything's still going to come off because we're going to finish all this. But we need it to be somewhat complete for the VIN verification. So we've also got the steering column we're going to throw in. We'll probably let you guys take a look at how the pedals work and everything once we get the steering column in. And then we'll tear it back apart. Okay guys, we're going to walk into the cab real quick. I put the light in so you can see what we're talking about. With the firewall and the pedals. If you look right here at the brake pedal, how close it is, that's why we had to offset our firewall. Our steering column does fit right into this slot, so it's not a big deal. We just don't have it bolted up yet. So that is actually how it's going to come out. And if you look, it didn't really take up much of the room when you're looking at the, you know, the floorboard where, where your feet are. There's still plenty of room. We're still going to be able to get our heater box over there in that corner. You guys saw the heater box build. So... That's our firewall. That's the cap that we're going to finish off. So we'll let you know when we get to that. Like I said, this thing's going for a verification. So we got to kind of make it look like a truck again.